Hello people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always, and this tutorial is going to be sort of a follow-up to a video that I made maybe two or three weeks ago, which was how to connect your Xbox One controller to your Mac, and now this week, today, I'm making this video how to connect your PS4 controller to your Mac. I will tell you guys off the bat that it is a lot more simpler, it's a lot more easy, and you have two methods of connection. You can do wireless and wired with the PS4 controller, whereas with the Xbox One controller, you can only do wired. So. Let's jump right on into this tutorial. The first thing you need to do is enable Bluetooth on your Mac if it isn't already. I'm pretty sure mine is, as I'm using a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard. So I'd be a little shocked if Bluetooth wasn't enabled. We just wanna go into the Bluetooth settings and we're just gonna leave that open for a bit. And then next, you want to take out your PS4 controller and you want to hold the PS button and the shared button at the same time until this starts blinking and that's gonna put it into pairing mode you guys can show, see on the camera. And then you want to go back to your Mac and just click pair on the option that says wireless controller. And it's that simple. You can tell by the solid light that my PS4 controller is now paired to my Mac and I can go ahead and use it. Now, if I wanted to use the wired method and not the wireless method, I could then just go ahead and connect my USB to micro USB cable and it would work all the same. You don't need to download a driver, you don't need to download anything. Uh, the Mac will actually read this controller pretty well, so you could just go into a game in Steam or Open Enum and just start playing your game right away. So we're in Open Emu right now, I'm just in the preference pane, and you can already see, we're gonna go right ahead, we're gonna do exactly what we do with the Xbox One controller, we're gonna play a little bit of Pokemon, but I just wanna show you guys how you can map the controller to the Game Boy Advance buttons or other controllers. So in Open Emu, you can just come in here and select the controller you want, and then you can select your import, and you'll see that we have uh, Sony PS4 DualShock 4 wireless controller. Now we can just go ahead. I'm gonna assume most of these are set correctly. Let's just go ahead and jump into the game. So as you guys can see, as I'm pressing X, that's sort of uh, going to the next screen. And we'll see, are you a boy or a girl? And you can see that the D-pad sort of works to change options. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, a lot easier than the Xbox One controller only because you can do this one wirelessly. I can go sit in my bed right now and play games. This is actually really fun to use. I'm so glad that I picked up a PS4 on Black Friday. Uh, feel free to add me. My PSN ID will be in the description below. But that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's tutorial. So if you found it helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new here, maybe looking for more Mac tutorials and more iOS tutorials and more Apple product tutorials in general, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button because this is going to be the channel for you. But other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and take care.